the morning for me and Evie. I'm dropping her off at the groomer. We're gonna start our day. All right, I know this is like one of my favorite kinds of Chicago weather. So like, it's a little chilly. I'd be fine in shorts and a hoodie, a little bit of a breeze, smells like rain, overcast, gloomy, Seattle-esque. Getting some miles on the new Keanos. I love a new, a new shoe. Um, but just had to go a little north today before we uh, head up, head up, head up, ooh. I decided to go a little north today. Check out a, a part of Hulse that I don't really see before we head over to the lake. All right, I made it to the lake. And in time to still see, I don't know what these are, like just racing, high school racing teams. They're farther in today. Last week they were like way out there. I don't know any of that stuff. Oh, there's a team all the way out there. But so very cool. There's the skyline a little bit. It looks a little foggy today but it's probably because the sun has barely come out today. Like it's been cloud cover all day, so it hasn't been able to break up the, the fog from the lake. Beautiful city. Before I turn around, there's this construction that's been going on on a new running path. Look at that. Beautiful. Can't wait for it to be open. Fun fact. This water's gotta be absolutely freezing still but I think the beaches open up May 1st. I think Sarah saw online. So we will be hitting up this cold water shortly. Nothing like a good polar-esque plunge. I was just getting ready to finish my run and guess who I ran into? Hey. Oh! So I'm going with to go get the pup from her grooming. I'm excited. Are you feeling fresh, Evie? <laughs> so she looks really good all around. She just got like a little extra on her head than we're used to. Around her ears. Around her chinny chin chin. Not like a full on lion's mane, but still a little fluffy on top. since we've been here. Long, long time. And we came in usually the other way because usually we had to park here. But now that we live close, we can just right. take a bus on over. So Lincoln Park Zoo is free. You do have to pay for parking. But if you go on a bus, you don't have to pay for parking. Right. And then right now they are open oh. be because of restrictions. You see that in there? Oh. Um, you just need reservations. Yeah. Easy peasy. So we finished the north side of the zoo. We're the, very hungry. We are very hungry. The lions are under construction, or their the buildings, their houses. They're not constructing lions. <laughs> that would be very difficult. It would be. 
So we're gonna check out the salsa, which is more like open space. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna dip out and try to find some food somewhere nearby. Mm -hmm. Here are the wolves. <laughs> Did you see that big wolf? That's it. It's much bigger than me. Oh my gosh. There's one of them. There's multiple. And then people look at that there. There's another one all the way back there. Can you see it? There it is. Wow. So we totally thought we were going to the south end of the zoo, but we gotta go this way to go around. Into the primate house. The little boy is snoozing. Rarely does he fall asleep this way. We're gonna head out now. The zoo closes at five, but they're starting to kind of get like things shut down. It's not like Disney, well, like you can get in queue right up until five. Right. Apparently they're, they're like, they're just not like, we were the second to last party going into the primate house. Mm -hmm. um, just to get it closed is ready um, before five. Right. And the gorilla house is not open. I guess it's the way it's designed. Like it can't really accommodate social distancing. Um, Oh, I should be back. It's a nice flamboyant oh. over there. <laughs> well, families enjoying this beautiful park. Also, strange statue of a man. Guy's a, a poet from Germany. He died. He was born and raised and died in Germany. I don't know his affiliation to this area. <laughs> also, Sarah and I are trying to commit ourselves to go and to not go to Monte Verde, where <laughs> Phil went. Pass the pajamas. Come on. It's a bit of a, it's going to take us like 45 minutes to get there via bus. We're also... Very hungry. Very hungry. Also, we're going out to eat tomorrow. Also, it wouldn't be cheap, but it'd be worth it. Yeah, and it's not vegan. And it would not be vegan, but it'd be We've delicious. Kind of splurged this weekend. So, like, logic and our, our, like, responsibleness says don't go we still have to go to Target tonight, but our hearts and our gullets say, forget about it, just go. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Now the change is awake, we walk into the sunset in hopes of acquiring. So typically you need a reservation, but it does say walk-ins are welcome. So but we're it's going a Saturday to, night. We're going to completely blind. But if not, we're really we're really close to Fulton Market, yeah, which I showed you on our on my run last week. Tons. So there's a ton of stuff. So if we, if we can't get into Mount Verde, we will cry, <laughs> but we will wipe our tears with some other delicious food. <laughs> Here it is, Mountain Bird. We walk in and say we're wondering, it looks super busy. Mm -hmm. We don't know if we're gonna sit inside or outside later. Yeah, they say they always take walk-ins. They said an hour wait, and yeah. I was gonna be like, no, it's not. But the second we walked in the you doors, wait until good. we show you later. We're like, it's gonna be worth it. So we're walking around, we're like, oh, we should probably head back toward in the direction of Mountain um, Bird so we don't get too far. Kind of sculpt out some places in Fulton. But Sarah goes, we should go down, if we're on green, there's this really cool place I want to check out. It's an old green, green street. Green street, smoked meats. And as we're walking, Sarah's like, oh, it's right here. Look, Look at this place. place. Right here, in like an old alleyway. And there's, this is the meat market, and then there's an Italian restaurant back there. Come in here at nighttime, or on the holidays. Uh, or in the summer when it's nice out, we can sit outside. Both. So we came by an old stomping ground right by some of where our friends used to live just we're actually just north of uic's campus yeah. but they've added this park 
since the last time we've been here and it's a dog park. Right, the other part of the park has been here. Yeah. This dog here. I honestly came here because I wanted there to be baby swings to try James on those. But this park is too hip and doesn't have any. Ooh. Also keeping this carrier on because it's getting chilly. <laughs> All right, literally an hour to the dot. Our text message just came through. So our table. I'm getting choked up, guys. Our table is ready. Hopefully, we are have a table inside. Because now that the sun's kind of going down, it's getting chillier. We don't know if we're going to like mirror everything Phil got. Or if we're going to try to like not do almost anything he got. The appetizer we're getting yeah. is the one that Phil got. Yeah. <sighs> We've been talking about this place since the moment we decided to remove back to Chicago. We were like, that's gonna be our celebratory we moved back location. But then it wasn't doing indoor, in, in, it wasn't doing in dining eating. It was just doing pickup. Yeah. But now they are. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got our table. We were right by a heater. We are outside, so that's good. But we also want to go inside next time. So we'll just prioritize that we next time. See the rest yes. We might have to go in the back. Yes, but we got rosemary and honey sticks. They have a fancier name. <laughs> All right, so we already know exactly what we're eating, but we, Sarah loves to make an experience last. And we had the table for two hours, because it's to our limit. So we ordered the burrata and ham with the prosciutto butter. Here's the rest of the small plates, normal plates. Massive plates. Mm -hmm. We also got one of the sopressata meatballs. We got one to split that's gonna come out with the burrata and ham just to, just to try. And I actually got ordered my first glass of red wine at, at a restaurant. Yeah, and I got what is this called? Sabo soda. Yeah. It's like a fermented soda. Yeah. And I got the fermented from grapes pack. Um, kind of like balsamic. I'm excited and intrigued. And the fancy sticks are pretty tasty. I can't. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> I got the 2017 Napa Valley cab. And Sarah got a fancy. I'm gonna try this drink. Did you show it? I did. It's an interesting, like upward angle of your face. <laughs> <laughs> now it I'm doing. So good. Now I'm doing an upward angle of you. It's good. Very good. Mm. I'm gonna go explore. Mine is like more like actual grape pop, like not. I love grape flavored pop, but this is like straight up grape. Oh, oh. 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 I saw, I saw the chef in there. Her name is Sarah too. The soap for Sada meatball just came out. We only ordered one just to like taste it, because last time Sarah had meatballs, it kind of gave her the heebie-jeebies. You never know. This is so much fun. I can smell the cheese and the deliciousness. Yes. And the pasta we ordered, but they said it just like comes out as it's ready. We both went inside and adored, like cried over the pasta bar with the two women making the pasta back there, hand rolled. Both the pastas we order are handmade here every day. It's rare that I go to a restaurant and like it tastes like my mom's. Like I have such a high standard for my mom's cooking. Like, it tastes like, like Sunday. Guess what just showed up, the burrata. So this is the prosciutto ham, the prosciutto butter. Help me out. The burrata. The burrata. Apple something. Apple mustard. glaze, and then the prosciutto, and then these beautiful, beautiful Bread. breads. So they we're gonna cut it in half. What do they suggest? Cut they it. put some of the prosciutto and then mm -hmm. the fillings inside it. So we're gonna make them as sandwiches and manja manja. Alrighty. Sarah has me. honored me as the uh, designated sandwich maker because mm -hmm. I'm a certified sandwich artist. <laughs> Try it. And do your best fill impression. <laughs> Sarah, 
Come on. I don't know how you can have so many like heavenly flavors together. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah. I'm making, I'm making one right now. So here is the gnocchi with mm -hmm. pot with pesto. Yes, and we got pine nuts. oh, and pine nuts. Yes, and we got everything like we're gonna share, like that we said we were gonna share it. Yeah. So they just gave us new plates, and they're gonna got a serving spoon, and we're waiting for the other pasta. But we're gonna dive into this because pasta comes out as it's ready. Look at those pasta, the so little pastas good. are just rolled. Those are hand rolled, hand rolled gnocchi. What did we do to deserve this? Too good to be true. It was one of the best pastas I've ever had. But look at that right there. What do you think of the food? Guess what just happened? It started pouring rain. It started pouring rain on us. Like we'd be in Orlando or something. And they could only get those two tents, those two umbrellas up. And then, so we just moved our table over. Delicious. There is just like a rich, creamy perfection to all the ingredients. Cause it's all simple. The ingredients <laughs> and how they prepare is just so, like you can tell there's like care. I want to come back here every day of my life. <laughs> so which one is this? This just came out. <laughs> Famous pasta pajamas. They smell so good. It just is a burst in your mouth of all these flavors with like a base of meat. I thought I was going to put all meat. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else is stuffed in. I'll have to look at the menu. Mm -hmm. It is so good. And we couldn't pass up seeing the uh, dessert menu. And on the way over, we heard somebody talk about a cannoli ice cream sundae. So we can't not get that. Oh, here is the cannoli sundae. Pistachio, chocolate, cherry, ice cream, with all of these like lemon, house-made whipped creams and cherries, and a house-made cinnamon cookie. House-made, house-made, house-made. house, -made, house, -made, house, -made, house, -made, house -made everything. Are you ready to dive in? I am. We had cannoli cake at our wedding. Yes. Excited for this cannoli. And the coffee is uh, top notch as well. Is that not the cutest thing in the whole world? She fell asleep. He fell asleep. I just convinced myself to buy a drone. I just haven't done it yet because Sarah's asleep and I don't. I should probably wait until she's in a wake state of mind to, to get her support in this. But I think we're getting a drone finally. Still haven't talked to Sarah about the drone, but I just looked up the Chicago like air laws and how they work in tandem with FAA regulation. I think this is happening. April by Anonymous. Oh, I love when it's anonymous. A manifesto for a simple life. Eat less, move more, buy less, make more. Stress less, laugh more, feel blessed, love more. Find a quiet spot every day and breathe. I think that last one is maybe one of the most important isms in this message. And with that, I'm joined by the American flag and this amazing map of Disney World transportation to say, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.